Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Super Paper Mario. Last time, and the time before that, and the time before that, we beat three pits of 100 trials. This time, I'm not saving. Stop. <laughs> this time, we're going to be completing actual story elements by going and entering the end game, which is right up this elevator. We are at the point of no return. We're about to storm... Count Black's Fortress, which is in subspace, if I can recycle that joke. Now, before we jump in, I do have my inventory to show you. Uh, right here. I bought a bunch of Super Shroom Shakes, Long Last Shakes, another Life Shroom, and I had a catch card lying around. And that uh, golden leaf that I got from the Daisy last, last time in the pit, uh, I found out you can actually have that cooked at Dillis's? Uh, whichever, the, fl the flip side chef or -y kitchen restaurant place, you can have it cooked there into a gold bar. So that's its use. Uh, so yeah, that's my inventory. Uh, where are we going? Are we not actually going here? Oh yeah, we had to go see Null Rem. That's what it was, right? I think. <laughs> I don't actually remember. It was, so, it was so long ago that he said, come see me, that I forgot where he said that we could see him. It might just be in his in his uh, building, so we'll find out here. Uh, is it over? Where is it? It's in here. Is he in here? I don't remember being in here. He's not in here. Okay. Um. Do we go to flip side? Where did he say he would be? Oh boy, I don't remember. Uh, okay. Interesting. It's odd. What? Did I not save? Okay. <laughs> Apparently either I didn't put this heart in the heart pillar or I didn't save. And so the events that transpired where, uh, we, where he approached us and said, hey, we're going to see you someday. You should go to the, the final area. Never happened. Uh, okay. So there we go. I don't actually know why I I didn't do that. I put it in the heart pillar, and then I had the dialogue with Nolrim. Th didn't I? I'll walk over here, and then he'll hail me. He's right there. Yeah. Okay, so we did this, right? What? <laughs> yeah, these are his, his exact words. We did this before, so... And I saved. <laughs> okay. What? Whatever, I guess. Okay. So we'll go... Now we'll go up here. That's really odd. I have no clue why that happened. But apparently the heart left the heart pillar or something. Or maybe I never showed that. And my memory is com is uh, just merged with the Let's Play I watch. I don't know. But anyway, that happened. So now we can go to the final area. Since I burned up time this episode talking about that. There we go. This is the final door. Eight pure hearts versus the dark prognosticus. Castle Black awaits. There was something on the last page of the light prognosticus. Only those who have not abandoned hope can turn back the prophecy of doom. They walk forward into the future, no matter how dark and uncertain it may be. You have fought all this way because you believed the future could be bright. I can't go through this door with you, but I send you with all the hope in my heart. I know you can do it. I too believe it in my heart. Thank you, both of you. Leave it to us. Are we gonna group hug? Enough pep tops, Gramps. I'm doing this for me. Tippy, Tippy. I don't know what it what is in your mind, but if this is too hard for you, please feel free to stay behind. No, I'm going. I've decided I must do this. Tippy, if your memory returns. Tippy, you've changed much. You've grown so strong. So, be sure to return safely to me. I will, Merlin. Let's go. Let's defeat Count Black. Let's save all these worlds from destruction. And hurry, 
for the world to, may I not have much time. In that black span of nothing, you will find Count Black. You may face battles harder than any you have endured thus far. If you feel ready to face this challenge, then please go forward. Well, we came this far, we faced the pits of 100 trials and got lackluster rewards. All for this moment. Mario, Princess Peach, Bowser, Luigi, be strong. And you too, Tippy. Ah, oh, it's been so long. After finding every pure heart, the band of heroes set off for Castle Black. The stakes were as high as the ominous void. It grew larger and the end drew near. Could Mario and his friends stave off the inevitable and overturn the prophecy? What strange twist of fate awaited Tippy and Count Black? These thoughts plagued the minds of our heroes as this curtain rose on the final act. Welcome to Chapter 8-1, The Impending Darkness. So, here we are at last, Count Black's castle. Wow, they even show it in 3D. That's, that's cool. Wow. So, Blumira is here. Er, never mind. We better get going. Yes, yeah, so we do! Welcome to Castle Black Entry. Let's go into 3D here. And charge the castle. Wow, this place is, is huge. When we were in here, we did get a sense of scale, but we always saw it in bits and pieces. Oh, <laughs> ah! Well, I got hit. Uh, we only saw it in bits and pieces, and now we're actually, we got to see the castle in its entirety, and it is big. But also, you'll notice, when we spawned in, the world didn't draw itself like it normally does. Normally, we see vague lines. Also, is this a new kind of, of, uh, Magiblot? I think it is. But this time it didn't, because this isn't a world, this is the void. I, I wanted to, to bio that Magiblot, but... He wasn't appearing, so I, I left him behind. Okay, so we, we took three damage. Normal Goombas. Really? Really? Okay, well, these, these guys are easy. Die. I dealt 55 damage to you. How does it feel to be completely and utterly destroyed and annihilated? Not good? Well, it's how Bowser feels every day, so you might as well get used to that feeling. Let's get another style. I don't know why I'm getting so many styles, but it's fun. Also, did, weren't we here before? I think we were here at... Yeah. Yeah, we were. This is where... Was it... Ow. This is where Peach and those uh, baddies had their monologue, I think? Yeah. This one balcony. So we're, we're retracing uh, some of the party members' steps here. Ow. <laughs> Why am I taking damage to these enemies, of all things? Here, let's go in the door. Not get hit by that shell and uh, continue on in our raiding of the castle. So this time, instead of escaping the castle, we are trying to get deeper, so... I'm not exactly sure how the game's going to handle that, because there weren't ways to go deeper uh, when we were with the other party members in here. So, either there was a door lock that I'm not remembering, or something's off. Okay, uh, what is this enemy? It's a Mr. Eye. Oh, I remember these! These bizarre foes can't help but give you the evil eye. HP is uh, attack is 2. It will shoot sharp glances at any enemy it spots. None of your attacks will work. Try flipping and spinning around and around it. Let's let's test this theory. Yeah, it, it really doesn't work. Okay. So yeah, I remember these enemies. Uh, what you're supposed to do is switch to Mario and avoid the sharp glances and spin around it. Uh, and then hit it. Okay. So they really don't have any HP at all. You just have to fulfill a certain little ritual to get them to be dead. So circle around them. Oh, they can hit, hurt you. Okay. Come on. No. Trying to circle around you. Watch me. Watch me closely. There you go. He's dead. You don't even have to jump on him. Okay. And we get a sleepy sheep for that. Odd choice, but sleepy sheeps are pretty useful. 
It's locked. Oh, that's that's why how we couldn't progress. Okay. Uh, but there's something up there, so we should swi be switching to Luigi. And can we make this jump? We can. Go through this door. Assumably, the key is in here. That is a cool chandelier. Wow. Do you see that? That was really cool. Also, when we had Luigi last time, we did, were did not able to super jump. And so we weren't able to get up here. Is there nothing over here? Oh, boy. Uh, let's switch to Mario. Get a 3D glance over this way. Yep. How'd I know? There is something over there. Uh, but first, I'd like to check over this way. Because they wouldn't put... They wouldn't have a... a this way to go unless there was a way to go. Yep, how'd I know? There are two two chests. Okay. There's a stopwatch, which if I had to compare them, I would say the stopwatch is more useful than the sleepy sheep. And then there's one of these, which I'll throw away the stopwatch for that. Cool. Got some good items. Uh, let's go over here. Jump back up. Switch to Peach, finally getting to use all of our party members here. Cross the chasm, and go down the pipe. Uh, it's uh, awfully a, a lot of amount of work to get one key. It's kind of odd. Okay, oh, hello, Striker. You guys deal a lot of damage. Let me run away from the magic blot Blast. Okay, a lot of Strikers. An amazing amount of Strikers. Okay, we get the key. A ghostly key, got it. It's a very ghastly ghostly key. And we'll kill the striker, or at least hurt him. And, oh, barely avoided that. And we'll go back through. Very nice, we have our key. And now it'll lead us even further into the, the area. Now, last we saw of, oops, <laughs> forgot about that. Last we saw of Count Black's minions, uh, they were going to go and stop us, so my guess is is that they'll be scattered around here. Uh, we'll, ha we'll intermittently face them as kind of the checkpoint of the area, and they'll uh, we'll have battle. We'll do battle with them and leave them in our wake. Uh, that's that's how I'm guessing it'll go down. Although I'm wondering what's going to happen with the whole Mr. L thing because he was Mr. L and then suddenly he's not. He's just suddenly randomly Luigi. So there there has to be some sort of loose end tied up there. Ow. Die, curse you. Okay, uh, more dry bones. You can see that everyone's been brainwashed. There are hardly any any enemies left out in this the coup d'etat. Uh, throw the catch card. Hey, Kamek, an actual Kamek this time. Do they still th throw the fox shines? They do. Oh, and I got oh, I almost got the triple shine, but he stabbed me with his broom. Hate it when that happens in real life. You ever get stabbed by a broom? It doesn't feel good. Okay, you guys. Oh boy, no skills. Okay, uh, switch to Piccolo. Very nice. Play Piccolo's song. And enemies still, oh okay, enemies still work when that happens. I forgot about that. I thought it would have frozen time, but it does not. Okay, now that we're cured, we will go through here. And as we're going through, I might as well give some of my thoughts for this this area or not this area but this game uh going through this it's been pretty fun i've definitely enjoyed this let's play but i can see why people don't like this game uh, i don't want i don't actually want the life shroom yeah let's let's do life shroom i can see why people don't like this game too much and it's it's that it's Unlike the other Paper Mario games, it tries to go a little bit further down the platformer path, and it leaves, for the most part, it leaves its its RPG roots behind. But the problem is, is it never fully commits to the the role that it's trying to pick up. It never fully says, "Oh man, I'm an I'm a platformer now. I'm going to have enemies that are complex, and you actually need to platform to kill them." It mainly just uses the old enemies of the, like, the new series? I can light this, can I? No, I can't. Of the new Super Mario series and just the Mario su series in general? And just puts them in this environment. It's like, kill them. And the RPG elements it has, I mean, if you notice our level ups, they're all, they've always been the same level up for the entire game. Also, these enemies are so annoying. I should probably be switching to Mario to deal with them. Case in point, annoying. 
But, uh... Oh, hey. I, it never goes down the, the RPG path, or sorry, the RPG path that it still has, the level ups are all the same. So we get five HP and then five, or and then one attack. Five HP, one attack. Five HP, one attack. And we have 25 levels from five HP and one attack. And it's, it's kind of, it feels like it should be an RPG, but there are the RPG elements are just kind of lackluster and just not there. And then the platformer elements are there, but not fully committed to because there's still a, a smidge of of uh, RPG left in it. So it's just kind of weird, and it it kind of makes a, a weird in between, and it makes it feel kind of not bland. I mean, it's still a great game, but it does make it feel a little bit empty at times. Still a great game, though. But I can see why people don't like it. Where are we going? There's nothing here. L there is actually nothing here. I lit all these torches. Nothing happened. Do we just go back through the door? Let's go back through the door, I guess. That was odd. They healed us up to full HP as if there was a boss. But there was no boss in there. Are we supposed to go back in? Let's go back in. I feel like I missed something. Yeah, I definitely missed something. Because I didn't even use Tippy. And these, okay, these sconces are still not lit. Are there more sconces to reveal? No. Let me see. I think Bowser's Flame could light these. Okay, let's go over here, see if there's anything missing. No. Over here, see if anything's missing. Nothing. Bump the mic there. And there is indeed nothing. Okay, so let's light those sconces again. See what happens. That was weird. Maybe I just didn't light them all. Or there's a specific order that I have to light them in. And... No, no, no. Lit. Lit. And lit. No. Lit. Light it. Thank you. Okay, they're all lit, right? No, you're not lit. They're all lit now. What is the... What is the... The puzzle here? I lit them all. Nothing, nothing triggered. Interesting. Okay, so let's go back through the door. Maybe we're not meant to go here yet. Maybe there's something I missed. Let's, let's find out. Uh, there are a bunch of stairs. We could flip. When in doubt, flip, right? Nothing over here. Maybe we have to light all these. That makes sense. So let's go down to the bottom and relight everything. Okay, there's no, nothing over here, except some more blue magic blots. Which I, sh I still need to bio. Next time they appear, I'll bio. Oh, I'll bio them. There it is. He's he's dying, but he's still alive enough that we can bio him. Blue, they live in the space between mansions. They use magic. Blue are known for their high HP. Oh, we we have seen these guys. It's been a long time. Okay. Uh, Bowser. Let's light all of these. Maybe I just have to be really quick. I can't actually I can't actually light these. That's odd. And he says wait, 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 wait. That's a hint. There are a few Oh! Oh, I get it. I get it. We're supposed to light two, three, and five. That's it. That is it. That's why we can't light them. Two, three, and five is the puzzle. And we have to light those and then something will appear. Two, three, five. Got it. Okay, so that was that was a cool puzzle. Uh two three and five and what will it what will happen a lot of stairs okay I thought this was going to be a boss room but I guess not wow that door's really high up that's odd they gave us a, a shroom to heal us they gave us a save block and yet we're not actually you know doing anything um, in this room besides spawning in a a thing. Uh, I need to flip, don't I? That will probably throw me off in my positioning. Nope, it doesn't. I'm still in the middle. There we go. Through the door. Okay, this there's definitely... Yeah, there's a boss. Horrible blah! Slam me down with a slab of mutton. I never would have thought you'd make it here. I'll tell you this, though. You shouldn't have had me f such a fork in me rumpus. Now I have to hit you with the full force of me chunks. 
That's big top from a chunk that gets stomped on again and again. How dare ya! You heard me. You're going to down. You're going down, chunk of boy. What? How about proving it then? Right here, you and me, wrestling match of the ages. Bring it, Beardo. I'll take you on alone. I got the sweet stomping you need right here. Bowser, are you sure about this? Bah, don't you worry. I've had egg salad sandwiches chunkier than this guy. You just sit back, step back and watch how a totally awesome tyrant gets business done. I'm gonna hurtle in you with the force of a massive airy comet, you bit great crybaby. <laughs> Chunk up! Whoa, he has powers now. Bet you weren't expecting that, were you? Where's your, where's your flapping mouth now, eh? It's time for an old-fashioned no old bard. Rumble. <laughs> okay, we're fighting him. Cool. Well, I I like using Bowser anyway. Hey, buddy. Ow. Okay. Uh, can you burn? Can I burn him? Yes, I can. For a lot of damage. Wait. What? <laughs> Did I just kill it? <laughs> Easiest boss fight ever. Herg. How could you be chunkier than I? You're not but a bloomin' turtle! How can I go on living with all the shame of it all? Hey Bowser, let me keep me dignity as me game ends. Finish me quick! Hey, there's no shame in getting smacked down by a huge studly boss. Uh, what's all that shaking? Okay, they're trying to kill us both. WARG! Wow, Bowser, you could have done something about that, but instead you let him do it. Hurry! Oh, Chunks, you saved us! What are you waiting for? Get out of this place! But, why'd you save us? Because you spanked me, eh? You earned the right to pass. Now I'm making sure you do that just that. Hurr! You got more chunks in your head than I thought. Bowser, what are you doing? Hey, super stupid bros. Get the princess into the next room now. B -b -b I said go. But all right, Bowser. You get out of here, too. Don't worry about me. I could hold this thing up all day. <laughs> I'm Bowser. Hey, you stole me line. Your hands are quivering like a ladle of me mom's lard gravy. Don't be the tough guy. Go. I am a tough guy. You get out. No, you get out. No, you. Herd. Uh, Bowsera? The Dora. It the won't the budge. Oh no. Oh dear. Well, Bowser's dead. We we don't have time. We must keep going. Are you sure? Princess, I'm not worried about Bowser. He isn't easy to get rid of. Oh, a boy, is she right about the that? Bowser has a survivor worse. All right, let's move on to Count Black. You're forgetting there are more cronies to be defeated, but okay. Man, Bowser's gone. I, I'm gonna miss him. He was my best bud. Really, he was. I used him for so much of this adventure. And <laughs> what am I going? Wait, his awfulness, Lord Bowser. Man, that that really stinks. Bowser carries no more. I'm actually sad about this, by the way. I'm not. I'm not hamming it up. I'm actually sad because now I can't use Bowser. Man. <sighs> okay. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I actually forgot that uh, these are chapter based, and so I was going to end it here anyway. But they're, it's the end of the chapter, so it works. 
Thank you so much for watching. Next time, we will delve deeper into Count Black's castle and hopefully not lose any more party members along the way. I release new episodes of Super Paper Mario Tuesdays and, uh, and Thursdays. Saturdays are periodically ABOs, and I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Super Paper Mario, where we won't have Bowser. I want Bowser. All right. See you guys then. <laughs> End of chapter.